ultrasound has really revolutionised the way that doctors treat varicose veins and related conditions. We don't just use an ordinary ultrasound machine, the machine that you might be familiar with diagnosing gallstones or looking at pregnant mothers and their babies. This is a special sort of ultrasound called duplex. Now what do I mean by duplex? Well, the ultrasound builds up a picture of the structures, the blood vessels, the veins, so that we can see it on the screen. But then it also superimposes the flow of blood and the direction so that we can tell where there are problems with veins, whether there are blockages, whether there are problems with the valves, and whether there is flow in the wrong direction, so-called reflux. So it's very important that we use a duplex ultrasound to diagnose vein problems. Now I've got here um, a state-of-the-art uh, ultrasound machine. Um, it is portable. Uh, it wasn't just uh, long ago, it wasn't many years ago, these ultrasound machines were uh, in hospitals on wheels and uh, were moved around in elevators and lifts. But now we've got these portable ultrasound machines that look very much like a laptop. And they do everything that we need now to look at veins and blood vessels. Now I'm going to show you the principles of duplex ultrasound um, on my arm um, to show you how, how it works. Now the first thing we need to do is to use a water-based gel, um, ultrasound gel. Ultrasound, very high frequency sound waves, don't travel in air, so they need to be coupled onto the skin uh, to then penetrate the tissues and bring back a picture. So whenever we're using an ultrasound probe, we've got to put um, gel on it to allow the sound waves to come out of the probe and then into the tissues. So having done that, I can then put the ultrasound probe on my arm with a little bit of jelly, and then I can build up a picture on the screen of the blood vessels and the direction of flow. And I can do the same with legs. With the patient standing, I can check the blood vessels and check the direction of flow. So let's see what some of the blood vessels in my arm look like. So I've now got the blood vessel uh, being demonstrated by the ultrasound. It looks like a circle because it's in transverse section, as if we're going into a tunnel from my arm down towards my hand. Uh, and um, one of the features that's characteristic of an artery is that when you press gently with the probe, it doesn't compress, it's not squidgy. So we can see the structures quite well with the, with the B mode, the grayscale uh, ultrasound. Now, if I were to turn on the color flow detector and look at that area, we can see that we can demonstrate blood flow within that blood vessel. Um, and this is color duplex ultrasound scan. We can see the structures, but we can also see the direction of flow and the movement of blood within blood vessels. So there's a brief explanation of um, how the duplex ultrasound works. Now, this scan that I'm showing you is the junction of the main superficial vein with the deep vein in the groin. And you can see the delicate little folds in the lining, which in this case are not meeting properly. And, and so when I squeeze the leg, blood will go up, which is the correct direction. But when I let go, because the valves aren't meeting properly, blood comes down in the wrong direction. We call that reflux. Now you can see the valves not meeting properly, but you can also see that when I squeeze, we see blood going up the leg, and the equipment is configured such that blood flow going up the leg looks blue on the color duplex. When I let go, there shouldn't be any color because the valves should be shutting and there should be no downflow of blood, but in this case, we can see that blood is coming down in the wrong direction, and it shows as a, uh, as a red signal. 
Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, do please remember to subscribe by clicking the link up here. Uh, that way you'll be amongst the first to see my next video. And if you have enjoyed this and you'd like to ask a question or a comment, do please leave it in the box below. Um, I'd love to hear from you and I'll do my very best to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching my video.